I want to know it at all. <laughs> Don't just want to know a wee bit. I've got a funny joke. What after shave the computer program as well? A money code. So this project was originally an event film to commemorate the 60 year anniversary of the computer science department of the University of Glasgow. But the project flowered and blossomed into this 18 minute documentary. Computing in this country has made it this far because of them. So it was, it was like a reflection piece on what they were able to do. The very first project we ever worked on together was um, a project for the School of Computer Science at the University of Glasgow. So it was. And the people at Computer Science remembered us, like two years down the line, they came back to us and they were saying we have another event. So Luke went and had a meeting with them and he was like, oh, I don't think you want to do an event film. This is an opportunity to do something really resonant. A lot of credit goes to them for having an immense amount of trust in us. That, that, and patience. That, absolutely, because they trusted us that that we would deliver them something that they could use. We considered a more general audience and so we sort of broadened the potential um, that this anniversary afforded us. And I suppose because we had knowledge of some of those lecturers, so we knew the kind of people that were there and we were like, this is a, a potential platform to do something more. The individuals that we interviewed are certainly the best in the industry at onboarding people to this particular subject. Like we went to the university and we listened to them and we said like these are the people that can tell this story. I took copious notes at the, the 60th anniversary and, and that was really my north star that I navigated with. One thing that did happen on that day was we both totally fell in love with Jeremy and when I met him I, was like, I, I could see the opening sequence of the film as soon as I met him I knew what it was going to be and that is what the opening sequence is. I'm quite familiar with the topic uh, to some degree. I have an interest in it. Stephen's interest in computer science more accurately reflects a more general audience which is that yes it is becoming part of everybody's life these days but uh, as Professor Quentin Cutts says we don't need that many software developers I think he said. It's not that we want to make everybody a software engineer we don't need that many software engineers. What did you do on the project? <laughs> what, me? Um... My personal approach is like, keep going in the conversation until you get to a point where you can take something that's seemingly completely unrelated and join lines between them. It's not a, a series of questions that's pre-formatted. It's a genuine conversation to find out what it is they do and why they do it and, you know, what the subject's all about. Just keep going until I can figure out a way to relate it to a sitcom or something in my own life, but a story that I think is a nice hook and that an audience can understand. And I guess, like, it's such a privilege, man. Like, these guys are not difficult to do that with. I think it would be difficult for MD to spend time around Quentin and not be energised by his approach. It's always great to spend time with people who are enthusiastic about their work and what is essentially their life. That chimes with me because I hope people realise that that's who I think I am. Right? Like that's why those interviews go so well and that's why that stuff works because there's a, a shared thing with them. I hope they wouldn't get annoyed at me saying that. They're like, I'm a doctor, mate. <laughs> I'm a professor. <laughs> I'm a professor and you've got a tattoo. Shut up. <laughs> Did you get a tattoo? Yeah. You also get a tattoo? I didn't get a degree. One of the outcomes we want is for people to be more interested in computer science, specifically at Glasgow University. So uh, it seems to work. It's actually changed um, my outlook on, on the world. Like it's not just about code and stuff like that, it's like it permeates so much and it is going to become like such a philosophical issue that we have to deal with and I think that's fascinating. I mean that's, that's pretty cool because that's what that film is supposed to do. You know, we're okay with having longer form content and we're, and we're using that to qualify the audience to some degree saying because everyone is competing for everyone's 
uh, attention on social media and things like that. If you think of like the noise level of stuff that's trying to grab your attention, if you don't do this, then no one's going to see you. And so the difference between doing mediocre content and doing excellent content is astronomical. It's, um, if you're going to do mediocre content, you might as well not do it, frankly. When you start looking at the world in terms of processes, then you start getting this very, very rich understanding of what's actually happening out there. It's true. Just science to me is Making people laugh tends to be what videos do on the internet to some degree. So if you can pull them out of every day and actually make them really love the people on screen to the extent that they actually are moved by it, then I think that's the ultimate.